Child, it's been a minute. <laughs> Let's catch up because the last time y'all saw me, it wasn't so good. It wasn't the best of circumstances. So I've got a life update and what I've been up to. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so I know it has been a hot minute, so let's do our intro. Hi, how are you? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well, wherever you are, whenever it is you happen to be watching this video. I am doing well. Okay, thank you very much. And yeah, so today I just wanted to come on and share a little update, kind of, sort of. Um, not anything too in depth <laughs> okay. um <clears throat> but just to let y'all know you know us is still doing all right or whatever um the last time we chit chatted here i was in the middle of a move after losing a very near and dear person to me um so much going on <laughs> at that time I entered a very busy chapter and era of life and did the best I could to get content out on other the other channels. So we have the streaming channel, okay, for your pop culture bites and film reviews and movie reviews and things like that. And then we have the other channel, which will be changing as well, but that one is where we do our self-care teams okay so we've done self-care parties over there and i think i took like two weeks off or was it a month child i don't even remember the end of last year was a blur <laughs> but um yeah i just did what i could to keep those channels regular with content and unfortunately because i'm only one person i didn't have enough um, energy in my tank to really carve out time for this channel here. So my apologies. I didn't mean to abandon y'all on purpose and I hope I did not give y'all no abandonment issues. Okay. Um, Saturn is in Pisces. So we do need to address that if we got that going on chat. That was kind of a lot. And, um, if you've been over on the Patreon at all, I have given updates during our chill streams of what's going on and, um, how I want to move forward with content. Um, and so here, what I am going to say is I just want to live my life. I know I've said in the other videos, like, I just want to share and like take y'all along. And I really do. Um, at that time I had the funds <laughs> to be going out and doing things. Um, I'm in a better standing now. I've got exciting things that I am trying to manifest. And, um, you know, I think I'll be able to share that. I don't know how regular I'll be able to do that. But for now, I do have this fun little video here where I ended up going to Restoration Hardware to boost my mental health because, um, <laughs> Ciao. I was really struggling. I really was struggling, especially like with the changes and everything, just trying to get back on my feet and get stabilized um, in the busyness of the era I found myself in and have found myself in since the beginning of the year. I haven't actually been doing my own affirmations and um, dance parties, yoga. I got injured okay in that span of time i have had a number of health issues come up and so i've just been feeling like down in the dumps um, before i went to restoration hardware it did change some things for me so i think my little experiment worked so if any of y'all out there feel like you know what what's going on <laughs> you know 
you feel it's hard for you to maintain the vision of what you want for yourself, try to think about an environment that will boost you, you know, inspire you and remind you, jolt you back into what it is you want to do. Maybe like honing in on your vision a little bit more, right? So that's what I did because I just, I I think, you know, when you reach your fill, you think you're okay, you're doing your spiritual bypassing mumbo jumbo stuff, and then it kind of just crashes and it hits you. And I had several of those moments leading up to this point now, and I just told myself, you know what, take yourself out because, so I guess you could say it was a self-care, self-love date. Okay, which is what y'all about to see. For me, I feel like so much of depression feels like feeling like I'm trying to just catch up with the linear time line of life. We've talked about it before here. Yeah, so even though I'm not at the phase right now where I can actually afford everything in restoration hardware like I would like, <laughs> okay, chill. Um, I can dream about it and I can be, uh, I guess, like a romanticized my life. I can be around those things still feel um just as inspired as if i were to be getting it for myself and putting it in my home like y'all know i'm excited by real estate i'm excited by interior design and fashion and just the venusian things in life you know what i mean <laughs> and just because i don't have that now for myself um doesn't mean that i won't and so i just wanted to get in that mindset get in that feeling and it was almost like a manifestation exercise for me to go to restoration hardware not to say that wanting things is like the end all be all in life but i think for me it's all of it it's the experience it's the art it's the energy that's what i guess you could say was my thought process behind this little experiment i really enjoyed myself for me i think i am just now as i have kind of I'm making it out on the other side of grief, even though grief is more like um, it comes in waves, um, I am really wanting to just live life, you know? I, I said this in a chill stream on Patreon, but I have lived so much of my life creating for other people, thinking of other people, um, putting them before me, and it's like, I just want to do that for me now, <laughs> you know? I just want to do it for me and so that is where i'm at you'll see things change on the channel that's why <laughs> um you'll see the thumbnails change our little aesthetic we're trying to get into more of a simple aesthetic as chow i don't know what my whole vibe is gonna be yet i have to be able to afford a design or things like that in order for us to actually set a full-on aesthetic so we are going to enter our black and white era <laughs> okay with neutrals just to keep it simple keep it cute so that i can actually continue to create and not every single week get bored with things and want to change things up so i hope that helps with everything and i hope you enjoyed this video i'm telling you please do this if you find yourself just kind of like you know when am i ever going to get there when am i going to arrive honey and arrive could mean anything right um when are you going to experience joy you know what i'm saying like it could mean anything for you do something that puts you in that headspace that takes you there like right now something that you don't have to pay a ton of money for especially if that's something that is a barrier for you think about what you can do that doesn't deplete all your resources um it would be my advice so let's hop into today's little adventure and excursion me going to restoration hardware to boost my mental health okay let's go let's do it <laughs>
that part. Bro, they got Missy Elliott, bro, and Nelly. I mean, <laughs> you know that's right, child. Okay, child, y'all see the day I had? It was it was amazing. I have to say, like, it, walking through Restoration Hardware, if you have one in your area, it is like going through a furniture museum of sorts is the best way I can put it. So that was so much fun for somebody like me, child, who loves the look. 
them kind of vibes a lot of natural minimalism going on i thought it would be kind of like this backdrop <laughs> you know a lot of black and white and like high glamour but to see more of an organic feel given that is kind of the, the trend nowadays i'm not surprised so that whole thing was amazing and it was just a free solution to get out of the i guess like i don't want to say dark but the heavy mindset that i was in and i don't I, i'm blown away that that is something that i enjoyed doing <laughs> i thought i would be super shy to record anything or take pictures of anything and i wasn't and i am just so proud of myself that i went and did that chow um now it would have totally been free 99 had i not stopped and got lunch so that whole lunch ran me like 60 dollars <laughs> in total i considered it to be a fair trade-off for the experience that i received and the experience i got at registration hardware so um i while i was like dang my wallet hurt right now like that's a lot for one meal for one meal that's the bougie bougie that's for the one percent child but it was super nice um that cauliflower steak best cauliflower i've ever eaten in my life never had anything so flavorful like that the truffle fries that was my first time trying truffle anything it was so freaking good i am a huge stan of truffle now yeah i mean it was just a vibey experience for me it was amazing so many times i just stopped and took in the experience so as much footage as i got which is more than what y'all are seeing that i had to parse through but for all that i got i can honestly say i sat down just the same amount of time and just took in the experience i didn't even know at first going through that you could sit on the furniture until i saw everyone else sitting on the furniture and i was like oh okay i can do this too and i want to say like especially for marginalized folks don't ever feel like this is too unattainable for you that is the biggest thing that i think i took away from the experience is being in that kind of environment yes it's hoity-toity um i was the only black person in that building outside of one employee <laughs> and for me i didn't care you know it was like i too can be here and y'all know what i got going on you know what i'm saying because i did get some looks some look, little sideways looks chow but i'm like y'all don't know what i got going on i i deserve to be here like anybody else child so um it was like a self-love self-empowerment thing for me as well just sitting there and being like wow like this is just stunning <laughs> again furniture art museum is how it was for me and i my, one of my favorite things is going to museums so Ooh, that experience for me was everything and it helped to recalibrate and shift my mindset to really I guess yeah like manifest more of what I want and I was focused that entire time of like I want more experiences like this just getting out living life doing something fun spontaneous and something that'll help broaden my perspective shift my perspective so that is what i got i went in trying to boost my mental health and i left child boosted boosted the f up i did i did and i'm proud of myself i did it so yeah i guess i just want this video to serve as a reminder as encouragement for anyone out there if you find yourself in a in a sunken okay more sunken place um honor where you are honor your journey honor what you need in this very moment right now and make the effort to give yourself what you need right now <laughs> is this a hack is this a life hack <laughs> but anyways so that was that on that i will have another experience i'm sure pretty soon i have some things in mind but if you're gonna be here along for the journey i would love to share mine with you and um, encourage you as well every step of the way i think that's gonna wrap us up that's gonna take us out boo i can't believe it but we did a whole life update and an adventure okay 
and we didn't take the whole day to do it. We, well, at least for y'all. This took several weeks for me to put together. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go hop off and watch Real Housewives of Atlanta now. Because, child, I had caught up. I think I told y'all I had started. I caught up. So I'm on the current season. And I'm going to go watch that along with New York. I love the New York reboot. It is amazing. Give it a looky-loo or whatever. Salt Lake City is going to be starting up soon. Beverly Hills is going to be starting up soon. So a lot of stuff going on but yes so this is going to close us out do comment down below have you done something like this before have you gone to restoration hardware in your area what did it do for you when you went there um what did you get while you were there if you got something child let us know we we love the furniture stuff over here <laughs> okay. what was your experience what did you do Okay, you may be wondering what's going on, Chiao. I did try some braids or whatever, and my hair type like doesn't really like braids, so we we on a little wig moment right now. So I will leave the unit information in the description box. I'm not affiliated whatsoever. I don't have any sponsorships and nothing like that, Chiao. I'll just leave it in the description box along with the link. For my scarf, this is by a brand, black owned brand, chow, excuse me, called Doves of Dawn. And I'll leave that in the description as well. Earrings are majority. Okay. Okay, get into it. <laughs> Top is ever lame. So, yes. Okay, chow, now we're done. We're done. We need to go. We need to go. So, thank you all so much for being here. I'm just so grateful for any time we get to spend here together. If you'd like to spend more time together, feel free to check out the description box with the link to Patreon and the Patreon playlist. And the other channels that we've got going on, check them all out in the description box. I would love to see you there. Yeah, so until the next one, take care of yourselves, others, and the planet. Bye! I almost cussed. Boosted the. Mm, mm. I ain't gonna say it, chill, yeah, but. Mind you, the health things are why we're in a scarf today, but it's a look. So it kind of worked out in my favor. I'm not even gonna lie, child, because this is a little vibe. This is a little moment. Get into it. We don't have the face to match it right now. I didn't do no beat, but it's a vibe. Yeah, that'll work. I like that.